Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode on the World of Solitude server. So today, we are going to get busy with farms. I've already got... Uh, great, now I'm turned around. I have no clue which tower it is. This one? No, not this one. They, they look the same. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. So in the last episode, I ended up building the sugarcane farm. And I've got everything set up over here for the kelp farm. We've got the hole where the kelp is going to be dropping. So I just need to add the chests and stuff in there. But I, before I add the water and all that wonderful stuff, I wanted to bring you guys in so I could show you kind of how the redstone is set up on this particular farm. So if we come all the way up here, all the way up here. All right, there we go. So we can go ahead and break these so I can show you guys. Alright, so this is a small modification to the cup fan design because I definitely I definitely don't need a kelp farm that big. Um, so this is just a smaller version of it. So we've got the pistons which will end up extending out with the um, observer blocks. And then the redstone in the back. And then this entire thing is going to be filled up with source blocks up until this point and then we're gonna put half slabs in have the water flowing over to the ice over here and then we break the half slabs and then what will happen is that all the stuff will end up getting pushed over to here and then there's another water stream that goes over and pushes all the stuff into the hole which is behind this wall here so I figured you guys probably didn't want me you know want to watch me put in a whole bunch of water source blocks in here. Um, where? I have extra... How did I end up... Oh, I must have already had some stone in my inventory, possibly. Oh, well, I'll figure it out once I start putting the water in. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm going to get to work adding all of the wonderful water into... Oh, it came from down here. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to get to work putting all the water in place... And then once that is all done, then we will move forward on to the next set of farms. Alright, so we have all of the water in and the ice path. I did end up having to move this over by one block because I had a slight problem with, um, with the water source. Uh, let's put those in there. Because if we come down here, originally I only had one water block so it was just this one right here and whenever the pistons would end up coming out then yeah it wouldn't you know it would remove the source blocks and there was some issues and it was like okay do you know what we'll just expand this out one and we'll work on it that way so I expanded it out which kind of worked out well because now I actually have access to my ladder um, on the other side without having to remove um, remove any blocks because if we come back down here we have to come down here anyways because I gotta you know I'm gonna show you guys the other stuff yeah so now I can actually come in here and get to the ladder for the um, the sugarcane farm and I ended up leaving all of the um, the redstone exposed so in case I ever needed to you know like actually turn off the farm or anything like that then I can just come in here and break that redstone and we would be good to go so now the next step is ow the next step is to um to get the melon and pumpkin farm. Now I got the um, the first module already in place. So if we come over here, we've got this one already in place. Now I don't remember who it was um that did this particular design. I've watched so many of the um the melon and pumpkin farms over the last several years and. Well, this one would have been whenever the observer blocks came out. Um, but yeah, so it's basically just an observer block looking at the stem with two pistons on the side. As soon as the stem updates, the observer sees it, and then these come out. Um, and then it's redstone on the back so that, you know, as soon as it updates, then it shoots these out. And so that is the module. It's, you know, really simple. Um... And yeah, so that's probably that's probably why I remembered how to build this one because it was like, oh hey, I know how to build one of those. 
Um, so yeah, so that is what is going to be going in here. Not 100% sure how many modules are going to go in, but I am going to build until I hit the top. So pumpkins are going to go on that side. Melons are going to go on this side, as the sign says. And so I am going to get all this in, and then once... Oh, oh look, look, we just saw one go. Woohoo! We got more melons. Um, I'm going to get more of these in, and then once I get all the way up to the top, then I will bring you guys back. All right, so we have all of the modules in. Now, I ended up adding this glass in the center because sometimes these things can be a little bit powerful and it would just shoot right across. So, in order to prevent some loss, um, I put this glass in here. Granted, I really, really wish I had connected textures, but, you know, this will have to work. So, we have a total of 13 modules, and each one has four stems. So definitely a lots and lots of melons and pumpkins being produced. Granted, on the pumpkin side, there is this. So we are missing one stem on the pumpkin side. But as you can see, you just keep hearing the pistons just firing off. So that is the melon and pumpkin farm all done. It is definitely producing a whole lot. It, yeah, and see like right there that right there so th um, there is some loss to this farm as sometimes it ends up trying to push it and then it goes weird directions and so it lands on the edge but yeah you just keep hearing it yeah, there's there's another one right there um you can hear all of the pistons just keep going off and going off let's see if i can ah, i missed it <laughs> go figure um yeah it is definitely not easy all right you know what end of it there we go. Um, it's not easy getting up and down from there. And this thing is absolutely insane with the amount of melons and pumpkins that it is producing. Uh, I have not been, you know, hanging out all that long over here. But that is what we're at right now. <laughs> so it is, it is absolutely crazy the amount of melons and pumpkins that we're getting. And so I am definitely going to end up having to expand out the storage. I'm going to put some sorters on here, uh, so we'll end up losing the top chest in order to do that, but um, I can end up expanding the storage all the way out here, and so we'll have a section for melons and a section for pumpkins, but I was going to do that later, because right now we have enough storage for now, um, and we, so we still got you know these three chests on top of that. The... Kelp farm is doing fantastic as well. It is producing a lot more kelp than I thought it was going to be producing. So we are definitely going to have absolutely no problems with that. And then this is actually, I'm going to convert this into a um, smelter. And so this will actually filter into some furnaces. And then that will go then into, the, um, into storage so that we end up with the cooked kelp rather than the uncooked kelp. Um, cause there's not much use for the uncooked kelp other than creating source blocks and water and of course creating more kelp. And then we're doing all right on the sugar cane. Granted about a chest of this actually came from race crafter. Um, I traded him some, um, sugar cane for, I think cobblestone. I think it was either cobblestone or stone. So we pretty much did a one for one trade with that. So the, um, sugar cane farm is doing all right not uh not fantastic granted we only unlike the melon and pumpkins we only had basically one section of the uh sugar cane going so i'm not 100 percent sure if i want to leave the sugar cane as is um because i mean we do have room to set up another set if that isn't you know isn't satisfactory granted we do run into this right here so then this set over here would end up being smaller than that one but it would end up producing more sugar cane but we'll see um right now i do not have any villagers um i'm still trying to figure out where i want to put uh put them and then i'm also kind of waiting to see if the um the iron farm at spawn um is going to be good to go because i don't want to build an iron farm and then you know have that come into fruition and be like uh why did i just build this um i mean regardless i'm going to be bringing some villagers over so i can create a villager trading or villager breeder and all of that um 
So yeah, so that is all of the farms built in the towers. So next step, let's see, we want to come out this way. Um, next step is going to be the actual third story for the towers. So if we come out here, hello Harold. Let's see. So if we pop out over here, then we can kind of discuss what the next step is going to be. So a next step. So next episode, we are going to be building the top to these towers. So that'll be the last section um, on top of those towers. Uh, don't have any plans for the interior of them as they may be too small for farms. So yeah. If you guys have any ideas what might go in there, then let me know down in the comment section. Um, yeah, so these ones were nine on the inside, and so those will end up being seven on the inside. So if you guys have any, that, if you guys have any ideas what could go in there, let me know, um, and then I can kind of you know see what we can accomplish in those towers because I know seven by seven isn't you know isn't all that big. Um, especially when it comes to farms and stuff. So if you guys know of any small farms that might actually fit in there, ones that we haven't done already, then definitely let me know. Um, but that is going to do it today for this episode. Something's making funny noises. Um, that's going to do it today for this episode. So I definitely hope that you guys liked it. If you guys did, definitely hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. It definitely helps out the channel. It's always nice to see new faces in my little corner of YouTube. And then if you want to be notified as to when I put out additional content, then definitely hit that notification bell. But for now, I'm going to call it, and I will see you guys in the next episode.